This is Google Earth. This is Google Earth in SketchUp. Okay, so we have Google Earth, just so we're clear. This is SketchUp with Google Earth information in it. Hi, I'm Joe Skiba. I'm an architectural illustrator. I've been wanting to do this for a super long time. 10 years, 15 years, I don't know. I spent some time yesterday trying to figure it out again. If you're on a PC, there's probably a different way. Well, there is a different way in on the PC. It's probably more accurate, but I'm on a Mac. This process is super simple and it works. I'm amazed. And when you see how it works too, you'll be amazed too. So how do we get Google Earth into SketchUp? Let's look at how we do that. Can you tell I'm amazed? Okay, so we're gonna use a program called PhotoCatch. It's photogrammetry. So we're gonna, and to use, this is the website. I downloaded it, it runs on, on the Mac. Okay, so here's the program itself, right here. Like this is it, this is all there is. And photogrammetry is the process of selecting a bunch of images or a video, and then the software creates a 3D model. Okay, so we need, we could do a series of images Making a video is way easier. So we're going to make a video from Google Earth. And how do we make a video out of Google Earth? There's different ways to do it. I'm just going to use QuickTime. I'm going to start a new screen recording, right? So I'm basically just going to record the screen, save it as a video file and load it into this program. I'm going to hit record. Okay. So here we are. This is Google Earth. I'm gonna scooch around here. Basically, you're 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 trying to capture all the sides of the building and the top. And I'm just moving around here. Uh, you, you can see that I'm actually not being all that careful about it, but you, you want to get all the sides and the top to go up to the top, like right here. All right. So let's just circle back around just for good measure and then I could hit stop right I'm gonna save uh, this is the video that we just made we did a screen capture right so if I play this this is just what we just did in Google Earth right so it's a video I'm gonna hit save and let's just put it on to our demo did this before okay so we saved that video file I can close this down Here's our photo catch program. Photo catch. Here we go. We're going to do images or video. We just made a video. So let's select this video, building Pittsburgh. And then it goes through. You can see here, it's looking at all the frames of the entire video. It's picking out what it needs. I guess use every four frames. It's using 263 images of the entire video. I'm going to click done. And I like to use the OBJ. And these are different levels of uh, refinement. I found that the raw works the best. I'm going to say create model. After you create, you know, you, you push this button, right? It, it goes it goes decently well. Uh, I, I did a couple of tests yesterday. It took uh, an hour. It took three hours. Um, right before this video, I, I tested this out. Um, it only took it like 10 minutes. So. We're going to um, speed this up just a little bit and it doesn't actually apparently take that long and it creates what you're going to do is you're going to save out a, an object file OBJ file and then you can import that OBJ file into your 3D program. I'm using SketchUp. I just started learning a little Blender. If people have ever heard of Blender, Blender is pretty amazing. PhotoCatch is done processing the video. So we're just going to save out our file. Here's the file format, OBJ. Click Save. Save it out as building. O2. Here's SketchUp. Make a new file. Get rid of the default component. We're going to go to Extensions, SimLab, Importer. You'll see that if you go to import under the native file menu, there is no OBJ format. 
So through the extension manager in SketchUp is called SimLamp Object Importer, OBJ Importer. And then we're going to go to our desktop. Here's the file that we just saved out. SimLab, to buy the program is $80. Uh, they have a 30-day trial. I paid the $80. My third-day trial was over. 80 bucks to import OBJ files is kind of a lot, but it works. The SimLab importer does a pretty good job. So SketchUp is still thinking about it here. And then once it is done processing, you have to click. And then there it is. And again, it is it is sideways. So we're going to go to our styles here and just turn off profiles. And we're going to turn off edges. The file needs to be scaled and rotated and moved into correct position. We're going to speed that up here. And this is our final file. It looks pretty good. Uh, it even got, like, even these overpasses got the little indents in there. Everything's a little squishy. That's fine. You know, Google Earth is a little squishy and you're going to video back to photogrammetry into a model. It gets a little bit squishier even still. But at this level, you can, you can, the back of the buildings, you can see how it sort of stretches that information out. We were only focused on this one building. But if you look at just this area, that's that's good stuff right there. That's That's super nice. And that, that's it. So we screen recorded. You could re screen record from Google Earth. You could screen record from Google Maps. Or you could take a video with your phone. You could video your mouse. And you could pull that file into PhotoCatch and make a 3D program. This process, pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty effective. I think it works nicely. Appreciate your time. Thanks for taking a look. Have a great day.